Hi, welcome to Clues Chart 101. The Clues Chart is a science-specific KWL chart, and it was created by Carla zembel Soth and her colleagues at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm going to be walking you through each stage of a Clues Chart. However, if you want more detailed information, I encourage you to check out their book, What's Your Evidence? Now, your clues chart, always at the top, has your essential question for the unit. And the essential question is really straight from the standard. So this is straight from the NGSS standards for life science in first grade. My essential question that guides this entire unit is, how do birds meet their needs to survive? This is a question and a discussion that we come back to again and again throughout the unit. The first column is the K in your clues chart. It's just like a KWL. This is for what students already know. So for example, at the beginning of the unit, I would pose a question like, what makes birds special? Students would put their post-it notes right up onto the clues chart. So we've got evidence of student learning here. And I would be able to have a discussion with them. Take a look, friends. Two students both knew that birds build nests. So I'm going to actually put those post-it notes together because they show the same thinking and the same knowledge about birds. The next place you go with students is actually to the E column. That's for their evidence and observations. The NGSS standards wants students to be making the observations themselves. We're not just feeding them content. So for example, since we don't have tons of live birds in the classroom, I'm going to bring photographs of different birds and ask students, what do birds have in common? Again, what makes birds special? And now they're going to go a step further by using the photographs to observe the birds. So as students are observing, they're going to come to realizations like, wow, take a look. All birds have beaks. All birds have wings and feathers. So I'm going to record their observations here. Then we go to the L column. This is just like a CER or claims evidence reasoning. So it doesn't go in linear order. And most people draw an arrow to connect them. Based on the observations we have, we can now come to the content standard or the cross-cutting concept, which is going to go here. Boys and girls, take a look. Your observations have now shown us that all birds have common external features. So I would write that here in learning. All birds have common external features. And again, that goes back to the big understanding from the standards. Okay. One of my favorite columns on the clues chart is this place for wondering. Now, I really make this an interactive column. So throughout the unit, and I'm sure you've had this happen too, Students will come up with questions, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know the answer to that, or that's not where we're going today. Well, this W column really gives you a chance to validate their questions, and so students actually can write their questions and post them right up onto the chart. Now, if we get to an answer together in a future lesson, I like to come back to this and say, boys and girls, take a look. Here, one of our friends was asking do all nests, um, are all nests built in trees? Well, now we've learned that the Gen 2 penguin actually builds rocks, uh, builds a nest out of rocks on the ground. Oh my gosh. So now we can answer this question. I'll put a check mark. And we can now move it right over to the no column because now we know that in our brain. I also let students take the wonderings questions, and as they're working in independent or partner reading with other books about the topic from our school library, they can take a question and go research it, and then present their research to the class. And again, we'll check it off and move it right to the K column. The last section of the clues chart is the S column. This is for your science understandings and vocabulary, and it really helps students develop the vocabulary. So for example, in this unit, I know that I'm really going to define the word survive. I'm really going to get into what the word adaptations means. And I'm really going to get into the word habitat, because different birds in different habitats have different adaptations. So here's where I'm recording that science vocabulary. 
And for example, if you were working on a unit with forces in motion, this is where if students didn't already know the word friction, you would bring in the word friction and add it here to the S category. By having these words up in the room, students can take ownership, and as they're recording in their journal, they're welcome to go back and copy those words straight from the poster. Well, I hope you enjoyed Clues Chart 101. In each of my units on betterlesson.com, I always provide you with a sample clues chart completed so that you know where we're going in our lesson. And once again, if you are interested in learning more about them, I encourage you to check out What's Your Evidence by Carla Zembosal. Thanks very much.